How's it going everyone? Michigan1777 here. Um, I know you don't want to be looking at this whole square thing, but I need to use the image recorder on this. So um, in order to do so, I cannot record with the camera at the same time because this is only a smartphone. So um, I need to talk to everyone right now because I found a solution for all the people out there who own a Sony TV and are running their smart features on internet or on Wi-Fi. Um, and have been struggling, you know, I've seen a lot of forums, people are like, you know, Sony TVs, they're not staying connected, and they're not doing this and that. Um, I need to address that. Um, I know what the problem is, and I'm going to tell you in this video. Um, I have owned a Sony phone since the Z3B, and they run on the latest version of Android. My phone runs on Oreo. The TVs that Sony put out are all running on NuGet right now. Um, and Android TV, the thing with Android, especially on the Xperia, is they choose the network that's the strongest. Now, you might be saying, what are you talking about? Some, A lot of routers now, if you have a newer one, have two-band networks, 5G, 3G. And what your TV or your phone will do, if it's compatible, is it will search for the strongest or the fastest of the two networks. And Sony's automatically try and go for the fastest networks. So that's the 5G network. Now, it's all fine and dandy unless you don't have a good signal strength. If you're not right next to the box with a 5G network, you're not going to be able to connect to it. Um, so in order to counteract this, um, since it's automatically trying to connect, if you really want to use the Wi-Fi and the smart features and you want to get a good signal strength, you need to change your network settings. Um, go into the box information online. There should be a link for uh, whoever your provider is and you should, or for whoever supplies that router. And what you need to do is you need to change your settings in the actual network, not off your phone. As you can see here, I deciphered between my two networks. So our networks are now Tobias 5G and Tobias 3G. Most of the time what you do is you just have one network and it just optimizes between the two. But in the case, if you don't have a strong internet connection, yeah, if you don't have a strong internet connection between the 5G and the uh, 3G networks or you're not close to the box and you want to use the smart features, you're going to have to do this. It sucks, yes, but... In reality, it's not Sony's fault. Their TV is just trying to optimize for the fastest speeds. And people are complaining about it, which I get it. You're spending all that money for a smart TV. You want to have the best network possible. The thing is, is Sony is doing that for you. It's your router location. It's not Sony's fault. And that's my point. It might suck, but it means you need to either A, move your router, or B, you need to try and uh, connect an Ethernet. Otherwise, you're going to have to split the networks, and that's going to be all down to your router, your router choice. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to reach out because I noticed no one had an answer for this. And being that I've owned a Sony phone for so long, I figured I would reach out and give everyone a uh, clear understanding of what you have to do. Um, I have AT&T with DirecTV, so we had to go into the box. The, it's, it's a router slash modem all in one so we went on to att.com or whatever and uh, went in and just changed the network so that they're separate and then when you go into the smart tv itself you can actually just click 3g do not do the 5g if you don't have a good signal strength 3g choose the 3g on your smart tv right away you'll notice your signal strength will go up and you should be pretty good to stream everything via wi-fi if you have an Android phone, unfortunately, your phone's not going to decipher between a 5G and a 3G network anymore. You're going to have to pick and choose one at a time. So it's not automatically going to optimize your speeds, which sucks, but paying the price. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you all know that. Um, hopefully I helped out a lot of Sony TV owners because I get how much it sucks. So... All right. Hope this helped. Hope you all have a great evening. Thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I helped you all out and you'll get back into good streaming. So see you all later. Have a good one.